All right, so here we are in the background. You can see the compromised virtual machine, which is uh, currently passed and grayed out. Now we need to start exporting or acquiring our evidence in the order of volatility. And the order of volatility means that we want to start with the memory first and then make our way to export the disk image. And those are the only two items or the only two pieces of evidence that we'll be using for our analysis later on. Now, first of all, we need to store it somewhere. In our host system, I choose to just create an evidence folder within my documents folder, and that's where I'm going to export the evidence into. So we'll go ahead, create a new folder called evidence, and then within that folder, we can now store the memory into disk image, and there's a couple of ways of how we can extract those. There is a command line utility that comes with VirtualBox that allows us to export the memory. It allows us to manage the disks. And basically you can do any settings through this, through this command line utility as well. Um, it's pretty powerful. So if we just open up a terminal right at that folder, so it's, we don't have to navigate here anymore. So now here is my terminal within the documents folder. And let's, explore this utility real quick. It's called VirtualBox Manage. So VBox Manage. All right, attention for all the Windows users amongst you. What you need to do here is if you open up the command prompt, you can run the utility by either pointing to the full path of the executable in VirtualBox. So you can do C and then program files and then Oracle VirtualBox. And then from there, there's the utility that we are going to be using. And you can just use it just like I will do in the next couple of sections. So VBox Manage. This is what you can type. And then you have the same options that uh, I will be using in my Ma on my MacBook. Or alternatively, you can add this folder to your path envir environment variable. And then from there, you can just use the VirtualBox VBox Manage command without pointing to the full path. So this is just an alternative, but in order to do that, you can just type set and then path equals and then path variable again, and then semicolon, and then point to the VirtualBox. So C program oracle virtual box folder so if you type this command it's adding the virtual box folder to the system path environment variable we should now be able to just type vbox so vbox manage.exe and as you saw it runs the commands. So there's two options you have. You can either run VirtualBox Manage from within the VirtualBox folder and then add the commands that we'll be using, or you can set the environment path variable and then just use the VBox Manage utility for like, like that. You'll see a whole bunch of options that we have here, and it's really a lot. And there's only a few that are interesting for us. So the first of all, first one is VirtualBox Manage Debug VM. Then we need to pick a VM and dump VM Core, with actually, which is actually the equivalent of the virtual machine's memory. So this is the command that we need. Now, how can we find the particular ID for this virtual machine? So if we go down here again, do vbox manage and then list vms this will show us all the vms that are currently installed in virtual box this for you might only be a single vm as i mentioned earlier i had a couple other systems already on there but this is the ms edge machine so this is the virtual machine that we need to extract let's copy this id which is the unique identifier and execute the command that we saw above, which is vbox manage. 
then debug VM, then copy the ID, dump VM core, and then let's choose a file name. And let's say since we're already within the evidence folder, we just I just call it Windows 10 memory. And since it's gonna be a raw dump of the memory, just call it raw and hit enter. Off we go. This now will be working on extracting the memory into this folder. And if we go back here, you can see in our evidence folder, there should be a new file called windows 10 memory.raw and the size should be around four gigabytes which makes sense right if you remember when we imported this machine we saw that it had four gigabyte of memory assigned to it so this is a bit by bit copy of the raw memory of this virtual machine so now there's only one more thing that we need to do as part of a proper forensic or data acquisition process anytime when you acquire evidence or deal with any files we need to calculate the hash of the file itself because that ensures that the file is still the original file as intended and there hasn't been any changes or modifications to it so this is the raw this is the plain original file and in order to calculate the hash from that we can go back into a terminal and use a utility called sha sum and just point it to our windows memory file and before we hit enter we can now just pipe the output right into a text file so we don't have to copy and paste and create a new file all over again so let's just call this windows 10 memory hash.txt so this is going to store the output in the text file and now we can see we have our text file and we can then just cat the output there you go this is the hash the sha1 hash of this particular evidence file and this is the file that will if we share the evidence with other people we need to ensure that this hash always matches the original one whenever we start processing this file.